Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video and this time I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So yeah, um, this is the Ardu Boy project that I've been uh, working on and we're going to assemble one of these. I'm not going to bore you to death and make you sit through the entire process uh, in real time, but what I am going to do is uh, speed through this and show you the general process of assembly uh, after cleaning my board a little bit. Anyway. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. We are all soldered up. So anyway, um, so these chips I got as free samples from, um, from what was it, Microchip that bought out um, Atmel. But anyway, uh, so normally these chips would come with the bootloader, the USB bootloader burnt on, but because I got them as samples, they were not programmed. Uh, so now I actually need to program it via like a ISP uh, type programmer uh, through the actual pins not through USB in order to get that functionality so this one I've already uh, flashed and I've uh, loaded a game on it so I'm going to show you the quick process so if I zoom over here here's an Arduino okay so if you can see here I need to plug them in I did not solder a header obviously so I'm just going to stick the wires in and hold it really still while it's uh, flashing so let's uh, do this basically just hold it like so put a little bit of pressure when you plug it in the red light should come on uh, to show that it's receiving power and it does and here um, I'm already set up so I have it identified as the Arduino Leonardo it's um, COM7 is my Uno which is programmed with the ISP software and I'm using Arduino as ISP 
So we're just going to go and click Burn Bootloader, and hopefully it does not give us an error. If I solder this right, it should just work. And I can see the lights flashing on the Uno here, which means it is communicating, so the chip is soldered correctly. And this will take probably about a minute, um, and I can't move my hand uh, too much during that time, so... Okay, so I'm just going to unplug this, pull out the wires, set this aside. Okay, so we are done burning, and um, I just disconnected it. And here we go. If we go into this uh, console prompt display, it says uh, done burning bootloader. And we can see it says a very done thank you uh, verify one bytes of lock verify and whatnot and you can see here it read and you know verified everything so we're good to go so now I can just exit out of this and uh, we're gonna hook this guy up via USB and um, now it should be able to use to program over the USB itself so. If I go ahead and open a Team R game loader here, so I can actually uh, load a Ardu Boy game. Um, here you can see I have Mystic Balloon up and ready to go. So let me grab a USB cable. Okay, ready to go with the micro USB cable. Let's um, plug this in, but there is a small caveat. The way that I wired this, um, you need to short pin one uh, to, I guess it's pin seven on the bottom. It's uh, seven from the left. And um, basically you have to connect the USB to the main power because normally the Ardu Boy only runs off of 3.3 um, volts, uh, but USB is five volts. Um, and you could actually just connect them straight together, but uh, I didn't want to put a regulator on this board. Uh, so I figured if this were plugged into the Ardu Boy, then you can actually program it, but you shouldn't be able to program the cart just on its own um, because I would need to put a little more circuitry on this to get that to work. Um, but, so I'm going to need to find a wire and shove it in there just for uh, flashing a game. Okay, don't have a wire, but I have metal tweezers. <laughs> so not great but it'll work so it'll be one two three four five six seven and there so okay you can see the red light came on so if I go to this Ardu Boy game loader I can click uh, upload mystic balloon and it'll flash it, it said it found it on com 14 you can see the um, transmit and receive LED should light up while it's flashing and you can just see it uh, lit up the RGB LED so if I just unplug and replug after it's done programming you can see it lights up red and blue so the green LED that means one of the pins isn't soldered correctly so I'm gonna go in and uh, fix that but yeah basically everything else works so far uh, we were able to flash on the game um, Mystic Balloon onto the sky, and USB connection works. So just got to fix up that one little thing, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so just retouch that LED. It was the bottom left pin that wasn't quite solder. There wasn't enough solder on the uh, pad, but you can see red, green, and blue. So yeah, it all works. It's flashed. We're good to go. Now, as I drop it, so now all I need to do is solder the, um, the connector header on the bottom and this will be a fully complete Ardu Boy cart. So now I have uh, two of these right here um, and one on my, my breadboard. So one of these is going to go to uh, my buddy Rourke and another one will go to uh, my buddy Elliot over at the Retro Future. And still have to design the actual console itself that this will plug into, uh, but it's going to be relatively simple. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that, and we'll get some board made made up for that, and um, assemble those and make, you know, little cartridge-based Ardu Boy game consoles. So until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.